प्लीज सब्सक्राइब मई यूट्यूब चानल and press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another updates from my youtube channel so today i'm going to talk about spring or like spring boot scheduler so first of all like i would like to discuss about what is scheduler so a scheduler is used to be execute a method in a java so using some specific time related dynamics for example like uh, so here i have a scheduler method okay this method if you want to execute like on every 2 2 minutes or like 5 minutes okay Uh, we can use the scheduler here, uh, or like so. We can use like on every Monday at like six uh, p.m. or like uh, if you want to execute like uh, every day or like every week or like every year. So we can execute by using scheduler. Okay. So what we have to do is basically we have to enable the scheduler in the Spring Boot application by using the thread of enable scheduler. okay and after that so here i have one scheduler service or like component so if you want to use scheduler here we have we have to use at the rate of scheduled annotation on top of our method okay and in this scheduled annotations we have like two parameters one is like fixed rate another one is fixed delay so i'm going to explain what is the fixed rate and the fixed delay so i have one diagram so let me explain the diagram guys so let me maximize this so this is the scheduled annotations i have like scheduled annotations inside that i have fixed delay and fixed rate parameter so what is the difference and what the fixed delay parameter will does here okay so fixed delay fixed delay parameter in scheduled annotations will adds a delay between two executions or like two methods here i have like two method executions so in between two methods executions if i want to add like any delay so that delay should be fixed delay then i can go for fixed delay here that is 1000 milliseconds here okay so what happened if you add fixed delay in between two method executions here so the execution the method execution will starts okay starts after the previous execution is completed if you if you see here so to start this method execution it has to be uh, it has to wait until the previous one is completed so without complete the previous one the next one won't be started here okay so there is a fixed delay so we can pass that time in a milliseconds here the 1000 milliseconds here that is like 1 second okay this is a fixed delay and and we have like fixed rate here so what about the fixed rate the fixed rate basically inside this schedule annotations uh, it should be used like in a situation where the method invocations are independent this doesn't wait the previous one will completed okay so whatever the time we given here that is fixed rate is 1000 milliseconds after this time it will start the immediate the next method execution it won't wait till the previous one is completed so in case of like fixed delay it will wait the previous one is completed okay so that is a difference so the fixed delay versus fixed rate here so fixed delay guarantees that the execution can happen in a sequence so once this is completed the next one will start once this is completed if you want to start another one that one will start this is can be happen in a sequence but in the fixed rate that that is not the case so i'm going to explain programmatically here so let's take first fixed delay so fixed delay so i'm going to take 1000 milliseconds here okay so if you start this let's see what will happen so i just added log information here scheduler time so it's going to be print this time here okay if you see here for each and every second okay the scheduler time is printing here okay 10 11 12 13 like that okay and let's stop this so this is fixed delay so what i'm going to do is I'm So I'm going to add so thread dot some sleeping time. Okay, let's add 
some thousand milliseconds again so let's start this and see what will happen here okay so basically the the first one is thousand milliseconds again we are using thread dot sleep that is thousand milliseconds again so that means this one second and this one seconds two seconds it's taking time to start the next one okay and in the case of fixed rate it won't wait for this sleep time okay let's test this fixed rate as well and let's start this so let's check the time here to see here each and every one second the scheduler is executing here okay so that is the difference guys and let's stop this and one more thing like if you want to pass like any initial delay okay so let's provide initial delay okay 1000 milliseconds before this scheduler is going to be start if you want to provide some initial delay you can provide here so one more thing like uh, we have um, so fixed rate right so we have like fixed rate string as well okay what is this fixed rate string so here let's say uh, if you want to pass like large value so let's say 72 or uh, 2 hours or like 3 hours then if I want to pass like this right so it's a very large value right so uh, instead of this what I'm going to do is uh, here I'm going to use fixed rate string in this case I'm going to pass P T okay uh, Hours. so that is string so we can pass a string here that's it so every two hours this scheduler is going to be executed here okay so if you want to check whether it's working or not so we can pass two seconds as well so let me check this okay if you check here so this scheduler time is printing for each and every two seconds okay so this is how this fixed rate string will work now let me stop this okay so coming to this fixed rate so even like uh, uh, this this fixed rate string will fixed rate uh, basically is not a parallel execution by default so if you want to enable the parallel executions so what we have to do is so we have to use async annotation so if you want to execute parallel execution then we have to use a thread of async annotation here okay uh, to enable async we have like one more annotation that is enable async here okay so this will start this task execution parallelly let's check this okay if you check my log statement here so it is printing task 1 task 2 task 3 okay so it is executing parallelly by using this threads so if you observe here keep on like changing this task okay that's how this parallel execution will be happen so let's stop this and now so if i want to use the scheduler by using like cron expression if you want to schedule a task using the cron expressions how we are going to uh, use the cron expression i'm going to explain here so let's remove this enable async and async so inside this schedule annotation i'm going to use cron expression here okay cron expression so let's basically 1 2 3 4 5 6 3 stars here okay 6 stars i have provided here so what does it mean so why we have to provide 6 stars 
so the first one is seconds and the second one is minutes and the third one is hours okay and the fourth one is day of the month okay and after that we have fifth one the fifth one is a month and the last one the sixth one is day of the week okay so this is how we have to provide the scheduler cron expression so if you want to execute for each and every two seconds how we are going to be use this cron expression so so here i'm going to provide star by two that's it so if you check this for each and every two seconds the scheduler is going to be executed started see here for each and every two seconds it's executing right and let's stop this and again so if you want to execute each and every two minutes how we are going to do by using this cron expression is so in case of the seconds we have to provide the zero and after that the next one is minutes right so every two minutes means we have to provide two here that's it so for each and every two minutes the scheduler is going to be executed by using this cron expression okay and after that and uh, so if you want to run this scheduler on a specific day so let's say on every monday or like tuesday at 6 pm how how you how to schedule this annotation so how we are going to be scheduled by using this cron expression is so let's remove this okay let's reset this now so what i'm going to do is every tuesday so let's provide zero seconds and minutes and so the third one is hours so at what time you have to execute this let's say i want to execute at 8 pm that is 20 right and after that so day of the week is the last one guys so here so i want to execute on tuesday okay so tuesday that's it so on tuesday at 8 pm this scheduler is going to be executed by using this cron expression okay this is how it will work so if you don't want to hard code this cron expression value here so if you want to provide this value in the properties file so how we are going to parameterize this value i'm going to explain here so to do this basically we have to parameterize so we have to parameterize this cron expression okay so what i'm going to do is so here let's take dot expression dot value okay this car expression dot value we have to provide in the application dot properties that's it okay so this is cron expression value okay so that's it so this parameters value is going to be take it from application dot properties file so this is another way instead of hard coding so we can going to pick it this value from the application dot properties and at final i'm going to discuss about so how we are going to be running the task in parallel so that is i already discussed so whether you can use at the rate of async annotation or like you can use task scheduler okay so we have to use the task scheduler bin so basically uh, so we have at the rate of bin here so i'm going to write one method here that's it our bean is ready now so i'm going to use this okay task scheduler bean inside my scheduler annotation so what i'm going to do is um, i'm going to use this task scheduler bean inside my spring boot application uh, so when this one is ex uh, when this one is useful so let's say uh, when you have like one method that method is returning uh, some value Okay, based on that value, if you want to use like 
uh, if you want to like set some threads only some specific threads then we can use this way this bean way instead of setting here okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um, part over this in task scheduler annotation so let's take auto y and private okay and when we have something so let's take public it's written in something threads okay so here so you can use task scheduler dot set full size something instead of five then you can add some three threads so let's say so you have some logic so that logic okay is returning returns okay three then based on this value so if you want to execute three threads then we can use this we can set this three threads here okay so that's how you can customize the task scheduler here so instead of using like async so then we can use this okay task scheduler being here and i forgot to tell you so either you can use uh, this task scheduler or like uh, so we can directly uh, in the spring boot application we have like one more way to schedule this uh, task so what we can do is we can use spring dot task dot scheduling dot full size dot size equal to 5 that's it so instead of this we can use so i don't want to use this bean in this in the application at properties i can directly use this property that is spring dot task dot scheduling dot pool dot size is 5 that's it so when this bean is useful is so if you don't want to set this uh, pool size directly here okay depends on your logic if you want to set like specific uh, thread size then you can use it so let's say this method will return uh, some logic based on that log uh, that logic you have you want to execute three threads let's say we have like one more method okay so this method will return okay five then you want to execute this method by using five threads okay then instead of hard coding here i can remove this then i will set it this thread value in this method depends on that logic i'm going to choose the threads number of threads okay so that's how it's going to work guys so that's it so if you like this video so please go ahead and like if you haven't subscribed my youtube channel please go ahead and subscribe my youtube channel thanks